Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is part 2 of Twitter Sentiment Analysis Project Explanation Series. In this video, I'll explain about two topics. One is how API works and the second is on how to create Twitter developer account. Please watch part 1 of the series to see the demo of the project and to understand the overall functioning of the project. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos on simple project and code explanation. So do subscribe and support me. Now let us understand what an API is. API stands for Application Programming Interface. It serves as a data transmitter between two different pieces of software. API enables companies to open up their applications data and functionality to other developers. We as developers, we don't need to know how API is implemented. We simply use the interface to communicate with other products and services. Now let's see how API actually works. A client application, which could be anything like web application, Android application, or a simple piece of code, initiates an API call over the internet to retrieve information. This is also known as a request. This request is sent via API's URI, and the URI can include a request verb, headers, and sometimes even a request body. After receiving a valid request, the API makes a call to external program or web server. The web server will internally communicate with the company's database to retrieve necessary information. The server then sends a response to the API with the request information. The API then transfers the data to the initial requesting application over the internet. So this is the overall functioning of the API. I found this great restaurant analogy to understand how API works. Consider you are sitting in a restaurant for dinner. So first to order anything, you see what's available on the menu. Then you ask the waiter whether the item is available or not. If the item is available, the waiter will take our order and ask chef who is present in the kitchen to prepare food for us. After preparing food, chef will give our order to the waiter who in turn will serve it to us. In this analogy, we can compare the working of a customer to the client application, waiter to the API and kitchen to the web server. I hope you can see how we can relate this process to API working. Some examples for API. Twitter API. Twitter API lets you read and write Twitter data. We can use it to post tweets, read profile, access your followers data or access high volume of tweets on any particular subject in a specific location. Google Places API is a service that returns information about places around the globe. You can use this API to search for places based on user's location or search string. Spotify Web API lets you fetch data from Spotify music catalog and manage user's playlist and save music. The API can fetch details about artists, albums, and tracks directly from Spotify catalog. Now I'll explain how to create Twitter developer account. So as a prerequisite, you should have Twitter account to create a developer account. If you don't have one, please sign up on Twitter website. You can either search for Twitter developer account on Google and click on the first result. Or you can also open the link. I have provided the link in description. Here I'm clicking on this link. Since I have already logged in, it is showing me this page. You may have to log in again. As you can see, they have asked for a few basic details like your name, country you are based in and the use case. Uh, fill it all up and click on next. Click on next. Now you have to agree to their terms and condition by clicking on the checkbox. Now click on submit. 
a verification link would have been sent to your email id you will have to click on the link and log in to verify your account once you have verified your account and refresh you will be redirected to this page click on the developer portal in the top right corner this is your twitter developer dashboard you can go ahead and explore the dashboard check what all options that are available to you now click on create project this will take you to a different page here enter the name of the project it can be anything click on next select how you intend to use twitter developer platform click on next now enter description of the project click on next here you have to enter a unique name to your app click on next here you will be provided with api key secret key and bearer token you can either make a note of it or regenerate the key i'll explain now how to regenerate the keys click on your app name in the left navigation bar uh, this will show some details of your app click on keys and tokens on top here you can regenerate all of the keys now click on regenerate consumer key this will generate new api key api secret key for you you can copy them and store them in a secure location we will also be needing access token and secret keys you can regenerate them uh, copy the access token and access token secret key and store them in a secure location if you feel like your key has been compromised or you have lost it you can always come back here and regenerate it you will be needing all these four different keys for our project so make a note of it and save them in a secure location in the next video i'll provide the entire code of the project and also i'll explain the code as much as possible so thanks a lot for watching i'll see you guys in the next video if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel